with a very small number of exceptions, I don't really talk about Android apps in this channel. But I was, big emphasis on was, a big fan of the simple mobile tool suite. A set of Android apps that just do what they say. They don't have any of these nonsense extra features. They have a bit of customization, but they're just basic apps for a basic task. I even did a video on these all the way back three years ago. It was a terrible video. Please don't watch it. But I did do a video. But after recent events, I think it's time to take back that recommendation. And you know what? Go and uninstall them this very moment. So you may have heard by now, simple mobile tools bought by Zippo apps. Now, initially, people had no idea what was going on. This was not announced by the project. This Reddit post is how people found out. People were looking at the store page and noticed, hey, the website and support email don't point to the project anymore. Now it points to Zippo apps. Did they get hacked? Like, what's the deal here? It just happened out of nowhere. So, for some reason, Tibor Capita, better known in the project as Tibby, didn't announce anything. No GitHub issue, no blog post, nothing at all. This Reddit thread and this GitHub issue are the announcement. When people are already angry, that is how you announce it. So, one of the other developers on the project, Naveem Singh, chimed in. I can confirm it's true, but I don't have details on who, when, or where. Tibby shows up to say, yeah, the sale is in process. Maybe you should have said something before you started. Now look, nobody is entitled to Tibby's time. He does not have to keep updating the app until the end of the universe. But with that being said, Basic, basic courtesy when you have a user base as large as you do, if you're going to sell the project, maybe say, hey guys, I'm going to sell the project. Your opinion doesn't matter, but I'm going to sell it. Now, considering the way this was handled, a lot of people were not very happy, we'll say. A lot of downvotes, a lot of people very confused, and a lot of comments. Now, those comments have varying levels of opinion. As a regular contributor, I'm very disappointed. Understandable. I'm sorry you couldn't find a suitable business model for this project. Thanks for your work in these years. Like many others, I'm very disappointed about this move. Not directly because of a sale. I can understand that you want money for your work, but because of who the apps are sold to. This company, Zippo Apps, seems to be mainly about quantity instead of quality, has lots of ad-ridden crapware in the Play Store, and does not adhere to privacy standards. All in all, most values of this company seem to completely contradict the values of simple mobile apps. Another app lost to Zippo apps. They will add advertisements, trackers, and more as they've done for other well-made apps they've purchased in the past. Along with this fairly nuanced take, it's always a controversial step, and even though I hate this sale, I support the original author for this decision. On a personal level, it's hard to maintain open source software without any significant financial support. Even if everything goes right, there could be lots of nuances going on in his life at a personal level, which we don't need to know, that could be driving this decision. Since Simple Mobile Tools is a gold sponsor of Linux Mint, I feel the situation must be dire for him to take such a step now. Yes, in case you didn't know, um, one of their two gold sponsors is Simple Mobile Tools, so I hope Linux Mint is fine with our losing a major sponsor. The beauty of FOSS software lies in the fact that anybody can fork and continue the maintenance. We don't need to expect or rely on the original author to support the software in perpetuity. I believe the best we can do here is tell him we are unhappy about this, but we still respect his decision and his personal space. Thank you, Tibby, for creating and maintaining these awesome apps all these years. And the question is, what happens now? Well, in true FOSS spirit, you just go and fork it. And in true FOSS spirit, everybody sits around asking if somebody else is going to fork it. And luckily, one of the other developers, Naveen Singh, chimed in on this matter. Somebody said, thank you for maintaining it thus far. Since it's GPL, I suppose anybody interested in maintaining it can simply fork and republish. And Naveen said, 
Of course, the license allows the project to be forked and maintained, and I would be happy to do so in my free time, but I believe it's essential to honour Tibby's decision. He's been tirelessly maintaining this project since it was created. It would only be fair if he gets to determine its future. I'll proceed with maintaining a fork only upon receiving a green light from Tibby, which left a lot of people confused and not very happy. What do you mean it would only be fair if he gets to determine its future direction? The direction of the fork? Why do you need a green light from Tibby? When I mentioned it would only be fair if he gets to determine its future direction, I was referring to the direction of the current project, not some forked version. As for seeking a green light from Tibby, it's a courtesy to ensure that he's comfortable with the idea of someone else taking on the maintenance. Given his experience and commitment to the project, I want to make sure he approves before proceeding with the fork. From the outside, I understand why people are confused. The project is FOSS, anybody can go and fork it, it doesn't matter what the original maintainer says. But I can understand from his perspective why he would want his green light. Tibby is selling the project, and Tibby is trying to make money from doing so. But if a fork exists that does exactly the same thing, that is going to devalue the project being sold. And I would assume that Naveen is still on good terms with Tibby and wants to get the green light rather than just burning that bridge. But after a lot of anger at Tibby and a bit of convincing to go and make the fork, Naveen said, All right, I've decided I'll maintain a fork, which got resounding support. That project being Fossify. It was worse. It did start as Fossify X. Why are FOSS developers like this? Why are so many of them just horrendous at naming things? I don't understand. There is currently an open issue to hopefully go and rename it to something not terrible. Uh, but Fossify is probably not going to change as the overall project name as Naveen has already gone and bought the domain. As for the apps themselves, they are not going to be called things like Fossify Camera and Fossify Gallery. The name that's probably going to be used is Pure Droid, which is much nicer, so much better. But please don't use Fossify, it sounds so stupid. Whilst there are other forks that exist, Naveen being the second major developer on the project is basically the only one that I feel like is actually going to go anywhere. So I'll leave all of the support links in the description down below. If you want to get involved with the project, please go ahead and do so. Now at this stage, you're probably wondering, who in the world are Zippo apps and why did they buy the app? So this is their website. Their tagline is better apps for a better world. Now you know it's a good website because the picture they have here is uh, a really low res image they've just stretched. We are Zippo apps. We acquire the best apps and take them to the next level. We are a vibrant mobile apps technology company with elegant solutions built on proven methodologies. Our mission is to find, evaluate, purchase, and grow mobile apps. Growing valuable mobile apps is our passion. We unleash the potential and elevate any mobile app. That's what they want you to think. Zippo Apps is a company whose sole purpose is to purchase popular independent apps that have an established user base and then milk those users for every single cent they're worth. This is an app called Material Status Bar. It has a 2.7 star rating with a million plus downloads. This is Speedometer GPS Speed Tracker, 4.2, 5 million downloads. And what you are seeing on your screen is the first thing you see when you open up these apps. And if you look right down the bottom, you'll see how much they cost. $22.99 Australian a week. In American, it's like $15, $16 a week. That is more than a gym subscription. This is a company whose sole business model is getting people to install one of these apps, subscribe to it, and not realize how much it costs and then just forget to unsubscribe. This is the most scummy of scummy app developers you will ever see.
Now this whole situation is quite ironic following a blog post by Simple Mobile Tools released back in August. How much does your data cost? We know the price. Where a bunch of people were approaching them being like, hey, would you like to sell out your users? You get paid this much money. Ooh, we can publish your app and you'll get paid a lot of money. And they're like, no, we are not going to do this. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. We want to assure you that you are not at risk of anything similar with our simple mobile tools apps. Instead, we bet on transparency and a fair approach to users. We are constantly trying to develop and improve the concept. That's why we switch from the free version to the pro version. It is a small... <laughs> It is a small one-time fee that will ensure you use our apps forever with no ads and no access to your data. We will be grateful if you support this idea. A thousand dollars a year. That's going to be the new model. And to the people out there who bought the simple mobile phone, rip you i guess you didn't realize that tibby was going to sell the project to an absolute scummy app developer company who is going to destroy the entire project and i know i probably shouldn't be laughing about this there are users out there who have used these apps for a really long time i am one of them i bought the entire app suite and there are people out there who now feel like they've been scammed from buying this phone but the only thing at this point I can do is laugh because Tibby has dropped the ball so hard. And if he tries to do anything else in the future, he is going to get laughed out of the room. So what does old mate Tibby have to say during all this? For a lot of it, he just didn't comment. He realized, you know what? I can't defuse this. Let's just not say anything. And then came back and said, right. I know that it is a really controversial step that upset many users. Sadly, the quality of the whole Android ecosystem is dropping really quickly recently, and I wanted to avoid slow death. Thanks a lot for the support that me and the apps received over the years. It means a lot to me. Anyway, Naveen Singh has been a developer for a long time, so I'm sure he'll be able to take the project further. Seems reasonable to avoid slow death, just kill the apps right away which is the best response I've ever heard. But there is another problem at hand. Zippo Apps doesn't do FOSS. So what's going to happen to the project? Is there going to be a license change? Is it going to go proprietary? What about the pro version that people already paid for? Is that going to be migrated over? Or are they going to make those people pay as well? Tibby says... I don't know, man. Not sure about the future plans. They likely won't be open source. But that means that the F-Droid variants will stay the same as now. You know, the F-Droid variants that are not going to get updated because they're built off of this repo that is not going to get updated. So one user rightfully says, Hey, are you aware that anyone who contributed to your apps need to agree to a change of license? Not really. That's not how it works. I'm afraid that's exactly how copyright works. Unless you had people sign a CLA and contribute a license agreement and have copyright over all the contributed code, you cannot unilaterally change the license unless either everyone agrees to a license change or you remove slash rewrite all the contributed code. I strongly recommend you get a lawyer before you sign something with promises you cannot actually keep. Now, this wouldn't be an issue if this was like, you know, an MIT project, for example, you can take that proprietary, no issue whatsoever. GPL v3. You're a GPL v3 project, and you don't understand how the license works even remotely. This issue can be resolved by re-implementing all of the affected code that was not written by Tibby or someone that he has copyright of the code over. And if you go by what Tibby says, while I appreciate everyone's contributions, you should know that like 99% of the current code has been written by me and other paid devs, so no need to overreact the licensing thing. If what he says is true, which I have no reason to believe anything he says at this point, 
it shouldn't be that hard to do. But considering the company it's being sold to, I have a feeling they're just not going to care and just openly violate the GPL. Now, as I have the pro version, I didn't realize this. But the scumminess began before Zippo. It began with Tibby. So you might notice that a bunch of the apps now have a really low rating. 2.1 on this one. If we go to the full list, we have a 2.3 here. We have a 3.5 here. And there's a good reason for that. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Added a 14-day free trial period. This is a very new thing. So as such, a lot of people are not particularly happy about that. Obviously, before the Zippo stuff, people already had a bit of a problem. Here we have before the sale. App becomes unusable after the free trial. Scroll down a bit more. I'd be willing to consider purchasing if they hadn't sucker punched everyone by making a free app for years now require payment. What a low life move, forcing people to pay for a pro version on a once free app. Had the original version, which worked fine. No notes given, the upgrade was to charge us. And it just keeps going on and on and on. I don't know the reason why, but my thought is Tibby tried to make as much money as quickly as possible and it kind of backfired. So the only way to really get out while the thing is still valuable is sell it to some absolutely scummy company that buys up everything and just take whatever they give you before the sandcastle collapses. Run away with the bag, never to be heard from again. I did just realize I had a mistake on here the entire time. I'm not going to fix it though. Whilst I'm certainly against the uh, re-licensing issues, I'm not wholly against someone selling the rights to a project name, the project's copyright, or anything like that. That's totally fair. If you want to do that, go ahead. Even if you want to sell to an absolutely terrible company, you are free to do that. Go ahead. But if you're going to do that, you have to announce it ahead of time. And preferably, you have to make sure that at least people are somewhat okay with it happening and have time to move over to something else. Because as it stands, Tibby has just destroyed his entire reputation, the reputation of the entire project. And if he ever shows up again trying to do anything, I don't think anybody would reasonably want to trust him. I hope he made good money because he has burnt every possible bridge in this space. And I hope Zippo Apps is left with a completely dead project that nobody cares about. It's probably not going to happen. They're probably going to sucker at least a couple of people in to continue using it. Outside of the fork, which will obviously be the easiest move once it's available, I'll leave a link to a Reddit post going over alternatives in the description down below. Basically, every app has an alternative, plus other things that you may or may not have been using. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you a simple mobile tools user? Or better yet, were you one? And are you going to be going into the future? I would love to know. And maybe you're using one of these alternatives and want to recommend something. So, let me know down below. And if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out Patreon, subscribe, sleep, bear, pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And rest in peace, simple mobile tools.